Uh, the MAGA cultists refuse to accept Donald Trump's 91 felony charges. You see, by the way, that Putin this morning came out and said, hey, you know, these charges against Trump prove how corrupt America is. Trump is a good man. Putin riding to Trump's rescue. Doesn't that tell you everything you need to know about this? But anyhow, there was this study published in uh, PLOS 1 uh, about belief systems. And what they did was they put people into functional MRI scanners, which do brain scans. They, they show the blood flow in the brain, so you can see which parts of the brain are lighting up at which times. And from that, you can infer what kind of you know, mental activity is going on. And they put them in the scanner and then presented them with a mix of either factual or, abstra or abstract statements. The abstract statements being things that might challenge their belief systems accurately, but challenge their belief systems. And what they found was, and I'm, I'm quoting here, disbelief, it turns out, is cognitively demanding. It requires more mental effort than simply accepting a statement as true. So in a way, what they're arguing, Bob, Bobby Azarian writes about this over on Raw Story. The headline is, a neuroscientist explains why MAGA supporters refuse to accept Trump's 91 felony charges. Um, Trump supporters, well, it's far less cognitively demanding for them to believe anything their leader tells them. Any challenge to what Trump tells them is true takes mental work. This means there is a psychological incentive for Trump loyalists to maintain their loyalty. And then it gets really fascinating. They, they, there's a, a, a study that was published in Psychology Today, or an article about the study was published in Psychology Today, in an article titled, why evangelicals are wired to believe Trump's falsehoods. And, you know, he points out, quote, children of Christian fundamentalists typically begin to suppress critical thinking at an early age. This is required if one is to accept biblical stories as literal truth rather than metaphors. Consequently, the brain structures that support critical thinking and logical reasoning don't fully mature, he writes. This paves the way for heightened vulnerability to deceit and manipulative narratives, especially from cunning political figures. And then the other variable that they toss in here is the Dunning-Kruger effect. The Dunning-Kruger effect is where people think that they're experts in fields in which they have no expertise. And, you know, there's a little bit of this in all of us, I suppose, but it becomes especially problematic when you're talking about things like climate change, for example, a mere 25% of those identifying as Trump supporters acknowledge the role of human actions in climate change. Three out of four Trump supporters believe that climate change has nothing to do with the activity of humans. Now, how can you run a country in a way that's going to mitigate climate change if three, if two thirds, if three quarters of your, of your believers don't believe that climate change is real or that it's happening because of human activity. I mean, the new story that, that is being told on the right now and on Fox News is that, you know, climates have always changed. We've had glacier periods, we've had warm periods, we had, uh, you know, uh, palm trees in the Arctic. Well, that's all true. Climates have changed a lot, but they tend to change on these 125,000 year cycles and these 30, 30 I think it's 35,000 year cycles within them that are caused, you know, by the Earth's relative position to the sun. Not, and, and those changes tend to happen very slowly over time. The very rapid changes we've had in climate, like the one that brought about the Permian mass extinction, that was the result of volcanic activity in Siberia. They, they called them the Siberian traps. It was just miles and miles and miles of the Earth opened up and hundreds of billions of tons of lava poured out and heated the atmosphere and filled the atmosphere with poisonous gases that were greenhouse gases as well. And the result of that was, you know, over the period of the next just few decades, most life on Earth was destroyed. But that, you know, that, that's probably a better analog to what's happening right now than to climate change that's the result of, you know, circling around the sun. But don't try to tell that to a Trump supporter because they, they they have their brains turned off. And what this study is arguing is that their brains are turned off in large part because as children, they were taught, you know, about miracles in the Bible. I mean, that, that's pretty heavy. I, I you know, I, I'm, 
actually not opposed to teaching children, uh, uh, you know, about miracles in the Bible. Although I, I think it's probably important to throw in a few caveats or say, you know, this is the story, um, but you know, or this is this is the tradition that we passed down. Anyhow, six states are trying to keep Trump off the ballot. Will they be able to do it? And America has faced $23 billion in extreme weather disasters so far this year. This is one of the reasons why insurance rates have tripled in Florida since Ron DeSantis became governor. What are we going to do about this? Stay tuned. I'll get into those topics right after this.